here at the Radcliffe Institute, I'm uh, working in what is for me a new direction, which is thinking about um, polymers rather different than the ones that make carpet and clothing and plastic bags and so on. And these polymers are for harvesting light to make electricity, in other words, to make photocells. Um, they're very different from the materials that we use now to make photocells. And of course, you know, putting in photovoltaic panels on the tops of roofs and in fields and stuff is a very big deal right now because we're trying to move away from oil as a source of, of all power on Earth. The kind of solar cells that we have now are made from silicon. They work quite well. Um, they're certainly being installed at a rapid pace, and this is a very sensible thing. Um, they are rather expensive to make. So there is some hope that we could make a, a polymer version of them, which would, instead of using the kinds of processes that you use to make semiconductors, you know, with clean rooms and huge factories and bunny suits and, and, and all that sort of thing. And semiconductors are? Uh, the material that you use to make computer chips. Uh, silicon. It's, um, it's half of what's in sand, um, but to get it to the point where it will be a computer chip or, or harvest light is a huge process of, of purification and, and, and high temperature production and, and so forth. Anyway, the idea is that we could use what chemists have learned in terms of making polymers to make polymers with very special properties that would harvest light and this is a new area for me because mostly the properties of, of usual polymers are more about how they, um, how they deform when you pull on them and how they crack when you break them and how they flow and things like this. And here the, the important property is what happens when light hits it, does it uh, make charges, where do those charges go? And, and that's a completely different set of properties that I'm trying to think about. Engineers tend to think that what physicists do is, is calculate numbers, but they don't. What they mainly do is, is give a sort of guiding picture for how to think about something. And that sounds impossibly arrogant, but it's actually true. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's about the vision, not about the numbers. <laughs>